There are two types of commentators in this world, and today I'm going to be talking about both of them. Anyway, the first type of commentator is kind of like me-ish, I guess, because I make more cut comms and more like funny videos than actual tutorials and slow videos. Like my commentary style is very fast paced, right to the point, and I cut com, which means I don't have to really put much effort into making videos. Of course, I do put lots of time and effort, but I don't have to put as much as making a full tutorial or going super slow and trying to get a live cut, a live com right. So the other type of commentator is actually slow tutorial types. Anyway, this would be Zyovo. This would be a lot of big YouTubers out there. I'm not saying that either of these is bad. I'm just saying that these are the two types if you want to get into YouTube. So the second type is a slow tutorial style so anyway this yeah like I was saying this would be Zyovo okay he does really slow laid-back commentary style and he does a lot of tutorials now that's amazing because lots of people need tutorials lots of people need to know how to do blank they need to know how to do something and that's where those youtubers are good now they're not that much for entertainment I know I'm saying this and there are a lot of people that are gonna hate on me for this but so, club comms are more for entertainment sometimes live comms are too but tutorials aren't very entertaining half of the time you're just trying to do something trying to do something right and you don't know how to do it so you just go to someone anyway I actually think that cut comms are easier since you can just mess up keep messing up like you've seen phase adapt mess up a bunch of times and anyway you can just cut it out you can just do whatever you want you can go behind the scenes take everything out you can censor it you can do anything you want before it goes to YouTube now the live commentaries if you mess up you have to say something to fix that of course you could cut it out but that wouldn't be a true live commentary so yeah that's why I like cut comms better now cut comms aren't really that good for tutorials I mean because they're more fast-paced and tutorials have to be slower They have to be laid back so people can understand what you're saying now if you try to go through a tutorial super fast have this fast commentary style It's not gonna work out very good for you since people aren't gonna understand you They're gonna be in the comments just asking you constantly. What do you, how do you do this? What do you do? What are you doing at blank? What are you doing that? How, how do you do that? What what and they're gonna be confused So you gotta go slower. No, I've done both on this channel. I've done the blender intro tutorial I've done some other tutorials on my channel and those are a bit slower But I'm not really into that. So anyway guys hope you enjoy this video I, This is just my two cents on the two different commentary types If you think there are more and if you think there are different types then just leave it in the comments Anyway, what type are you leave it in the comments below? See you later.